Hello. In this video, I would like to show you how to add a macro to your own configuration once you received it from a colleague, from a friend, or from whoever, basically. So a couple of files you might need are the FSC file, which is the macro configuration, a little picture to illustrate it better when you select it, and the BMF or DMF file for the graphical help. So first of all, we have to place these in the right location. That's the first thing to do. So we're going to see Bocat to our client DSP e folder for the FSC file. We need to go to Macro Explorer Bitmaps. There we place the PNG file, the picture file. And then finally, we need to go to Help. And if this folder is empty, we will create the hierarchy ourselves, add a new folder called construction and a little subfolder called KD because that's how we have to call our macros. There we go. That's the file. Come back to Bocad. To add the macro, we'll go to our macro explorer. There's a part here at the bottom it says customer and we can with a right click add a group for example structural followed by purlins for example and in there I'll make a right click again to add macro we have to go to bio edit next enter the name of my macro that was KD fly brace. So KD one exclamation mark fly brace. Next, put your name in there or whoever author in it. the name for the button. So the button you're actually going to pick. For example, call that fly brace. And finally, what picture do you want? As you can see, you just pick it up. Next, you can add a little description there. Um, Perlin, fly, brace. You can add a couple of keywords. Perlin, brace, fly, brace, for example. You can still add them or modify them afterwards. Next, and finish. So we see the picture here. I just double click on it. Here's the graphical help. There are the settings of the macro and we can indeed just apply it straight away. Now, in case you don't want to keep the name Flybrace, let's come back to that one. And for example, when we call this KD, let's just take a random number, 101, I will just have to rename each and every file to KD101, in this case, perhaps more safe to call that default for the graphical help. The DSPE file, same thing, KD101 default. And finally, also Macro Explorer bitmap, little picture there. Call that one KD101. In a Macro Explorer, of course, now it cannot find the picture anymore. Properties. So once again, the name we need for the button, no need to change that. Pick up the picture once again and the callback, whatever FSC file it has to take. I'll just call that KD101 and we're done. And same thing again, select it. And there we see we got a macro and indeed on top I can see it's called KD101 configuration default. That's it.